What's up, guys? Um, I'm just going to check on this hive. I hadn't checked on it in a while. This is my strongest hive that I've got. It's a two boxer. I hadn't checked on them in a while. I don't know how they're going to be, so that's why I've got this on. They're usually fairly, uh, they're quite nosy. We'll just put it that way. So I've already got this little net on my head. It's my little mosquito net. Because they like to get right in your face. They don't really like to sting, but they like to be in your face, and I'm not in the mood for that today. We got a, a front that's moving in. So we've got some rain on the on the radar not too far out, so that's not gonna make them happy to start with. So and then I'm also gonna be using a screwdriver today because I can't find my hive tool. I don't know what I've done with it, so but I need to run through these real quick, make sure they're doing good. One other thing I'm gonna do, I know I've got a couple frames that are loose in here. So I'm gonna go through. You see behind me that big orange mess is behind me is a bunch of air cable and there's an air compressor sitting over there. I brought my air compressor right here because I've got a couple frames that are that are loose. I'm just gonna go through and tighten them up. Put a nail or two or uh, a staple or two in them. So that's what I've got. I really don't have a whole lot of I'm gonna be looking for some eggs and brood and stuff like that like I always do but We'll see how this goes with a screwdriver and all that stuff. It's coming on this one. Hmm. See how they've cross comb net. Need to go through and take that out. Got a little bit of honey store on there then. This is one of the frames that's coming apart. Oh, hope that frame just fell off the side. Wonderful. All right, so I just went through, since this was loose here, I have a staple on the top of it, but I went through and put one on the side right here. May end up putting another one in there just, just for grins. I'm climbing up my pants.
They got lots of nectar and stuff in here. I did put some um, some sugar water out, a one to one ratio, not too long ago, and they have stacked it in here. I was hoping to get them to uh, start building some comb out in some of these other hives and these I guess they figured they got about as much as they won't build out so they just stored it. So this has got honey across the top, it's got some brood and stuff across the bottom. Bring it over a little closer for you. So you got honey across the top, got some brood around the bottom. Got a little bit more honey on this side. Brood on the bottom. This is more nectar. They have built up some more. Um, beeswax though so that's good another reason why I was coming in and actually looking at this because since I put that sugar water out is I want to make sure they're not honey bound or anything like that because I do not want them to swarm since it's July 1st on Friday so we're at the end of June stuck in there good there we go so this is pollen and nectar that ain't nothing but a freaking mess there good lord at this next ring really sweetie It's like dissecting this one. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It might be a pool wires and just let them build natural on this one. I'm just going to go through and pull the wires out of this. So what I'm going to do is where they've cross combed it. It's a big piece and I hate to waste it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to take it and rubber band it on another frame. See now it just leaves that spot right there and I can just take that and drop it back in and they can start working on it. <coughs> I just got to figure out, I don't know if I want to add it to that one. Yeah, I'm just going to add it to that one. I'm going to put this in out of order. I'm going to sit right here for a second. Ow, one stung me on the back. Stupid bee. She's in my shirt. I'm not a big fan of this hive. Just FYI. I know right now it's not their fault, but ah. Alright. See? I just took the rubber bands and crossed them. 
and then they'll go through and build that back around and shirt it up and all that stuff. I need to check the bottom hive and we'll bottom, yeah, the bottom hives today to see if they're honeybound or not. I can get these to come to take down. So right now, I'm not really wanting to find a queen and all that other stuff. If I see her, that's great. But my thing right now is just to make sure that she's got room to do what she needs to do. Which is outside frame here. Doesn't have um, anything drawn out on it. It's just a blank piece of comb or a foundation. So this one's got lots of pollen and nectar. That right there's a pretty, pretty frame. She's doing very well on this. Both sides. So there's going to be lots of bees that will too long to add to her collection. So I'm seeing some larva. And some little tiny ones. I'm not seeing, there's an egg. All right, well she's in here. I am satisfied of that. So now that I know that I've got eggs that I can see, I know that she's laying. Because the egg lasts about three days before it turns into a larva. So I'm happy that she's in here and everything's looking good. So I'm going to put these bad boys back together. She's got room. Well, I may check another frame. Just to make sure.
Yeah, she's laying nice. That's another pretty frame. Both sides. I think she's on this next frame. I think I just caught a glimpse of her. Yeah, she's got room to lay. Yep, she's laying. She's got room. So I think we're good. Got some drone brood, some worker brood. Plenty of drones in here, lots of pollen and all the other stuff, so in my mind, she has got all she needs. But let me check one more frame. Yep, there's eggs on this one too. Man, she's doing a good job. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I think she's doing what she needs to do. She's got the room to do it. So as Clarence Carter would say, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied this hive's doing good. So I'm gonna put some stuff out of order because I hate digging back all through these frames. There's not a whole lot on it, maybe I'll go ahead and start drawing this one out. Well, these girls are doing good. Not the most graceful check I've ever done on one, but it's like that sometimes. We've got a front that's coming in, so that's definitely affecting their temperament, which these have always been a little bit on the, uh, the pissy side, to, to say the least. So, just to show you, that's one of those things I got. I know I got one on my back. I got one in my pants. I actually have blue jeans on today and got stung right up there in my thigh, so. And I still have a mark from about two weeks to a month ago where I checked on them. So, but they're doing good. I never found a queen, which 
I'm just looking for eggs and stuff. That gives you indication because eggs stick around for what, three days or something like that. So if you find eggs, you know she's in there. And if nothing else, if something happens to her, they can rebuild from that point. She's got room. They got plenty of pollen. They got plenty of nectar and hot honey and everything like that. So they're good to go. So um, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, just throw them down in the comments down and I'll see if I can answer them for you. So take care, be careful, and I'll talk to you later.